Hello, and welcome to my presentation on the evolution of human skin color. In this presentation, I will cover early human migration patterns, the development of the varied skin colors we see around the world today, and how vitamin D, folate, and UV light contributed to this. And finally, I'll go over the future of human skin color. Mankind evolved from their light-skinned ancestors in Africa around 200,000 years ago, when we moved from a jungle environment to an open savanna environment. From here, mankind dispersed from Africa only 60,000 years ago. That means skin color has changed so drastically in such a short period of time. So what caused this human migration? Here's an excerpt from the TED Radio Hour on NPR. We had the eruption of a mega volcano, the largest volcanic eruption in the last 20 to 30 million years, Mount <laughs> Toba in Sumatra, which today is Lake Toba. And it blew its top and it spewed all of this ash into the atmosphere and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. And this had the effect of, of creating a global nuclear winter, in effect. Wow. And temperatures dropped by 15 or 20 degrees Celsius wow, on average. Wow, blocked the sun. Yeah, it blocked out the sun basically, and so the animals and the plants become sparser, and so the human population becomes sparser. So during this ice age, the human population was reduced to as low as 2,000 people. There were only a few small pockets of our species holding on for life in Africa. Since Africa essentially dried up and left scarce resources, humans were forced out of the continent in search of food and water and shelter. This is the hunter-gatherer lifestyle that eventually brought us around the globe. So here we can see the migration patterns of humans around 60,000 years ago. Obviously during this time skin color was constantly evolving. Um, so first let's look at the different kinds of UV light and their effects on health. There are three different kinds of UV light called UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVC light is completely blocked by our ozone layer so there's no effect on skin or health. UVB light is partially blocked by the ozone layer, depending on your distance from the equator. This form of ultraviolet light stimulates the production of melanin and causes sunburn at high doses. UVA light fully penetrates the ozone layer at any distance from the equator and activates already present melanin in the skin. UVA also causes wrinkles by penetrating deep into the skin and aging blood vessels and connective tissue. So, how did UV light cause the evolution of dark skin? Many point to conditions like skin cancer as the answer. However, the truth is found in folic acid. Folic acid is a B vitamin that is essential in making healthy new cells. During fetal development, folate deficiencies can lead to neural tube defects like spina bifida or anencephaly. These defects are often fatal today and certainly were in prehistoric times making folate level a selective pressure on humans. UVB rays destroy folate, leading to folate deficiency. So, humans had to evolve to protect themselves from UVB rays. This was accomplished by evolving higher levels of melanin. Melanin comes in two forms, eumelanin and pheomelanin. Eumelanin is brownish black and absorbs UV rays better than the reddish yellow pheomelanin that creates freckles and red hair. Melanin is produced by melanocytes at the bottom of the epidermis when skin cells are damaged. Today, most people have the same amount of melanocytes, but vary in their amount of melanin. Next came the evolution of lighter skin, which most likely evolved due to the need for vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential in developing and maintaining healthy bone structure, especially during fetal development. During the late third trimester of a pregnancy, the fetus enters rapid growth that taxes the mother's vitamin D supply. If the fetus does not receive enough vitamin D from the mother, he may develop hypocalcemia, or rickets. Vitamin D is also important in healthy birth weights and in healthy brain development. 90% of the body's vitamin D supply is synthesized by UV light. The skin synthesizes the cholesterol precursor 7-dehydrocholesterol into vitamin D. Since melanin absorbs and scatters UV light, an abundance of it can hinder vitamin D synthesis. Populations further from the equator also had less UVB sunlight to synthesize vitamin D, so they evolved less melanin and thus lighter skin. 
humans then had less melanin to absorb the scarcer UVB rays. There is no general consensus and little scholarly research on the future of human skin color. Observable trends show interracial relationships are on the rise, as well as transracial adoptions. However, interracial marriage is still uncommon. Artists Nicolay Lam or Martin Scholler have given contributions, however, they are a little ridiculous. One study asserts that humans are actually growing further apart, and that we are still evolving rapidly with observable differences between only millennia. Basically, the future of human skin color and race are very, very uncertain, and something that only time can tell. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for watching.